guys! As you can see, this is Minnie's cage. Today's video is actually not Minnie. It's going to be Stitch's cage tour. I'm so excited to show you his new layout. It's been a long time in the working of crafting and laying it out. There are a whole lot of trial runs with it, so I'm so happy to finally have put it together and for you guys to see it. So here it is. This is his new layout. As you can see, it's natural with some blue and green accents. I'm so excited to finally go to a natural theme because I think it'll be, you know, more fun for him because it's more like his natural habitat. He likes to burrow and sleep a lot, you know, where Minnie likes to play. So, so I really think he's going to absolutely love this. He's not in here yet. I wanted to film this first because I know he's going to tunnel through it and kind of probably destroy it. <laughs> so I'm very excited to put him in here. So let's start. Let's start over here. Here is his turquoise dish from World Market and it's got crushed walnuts in there. Now I've researched this a bunch and it's safe for them to play and have as long as they don't have too much of it. So he does like to pouch it so I'm going to watch him and if he kind of continues to pouch it I'm going to just probably take it out. But maybe you know we'll keep it in for something a little different for now. Here is his, pla his Planet Petco tubes. They're the stackable ones. And over here is his willow stick and his apple orchard stick. And then his National Geographic house. And then over here you can see his little tube. And there's a matching one on the other side. And these tunnel up under, under his platform. So he can tunnel under there and sleep under there. Which I know he's going to absolutely love. Here is his National Geographic bridge. And the other two back there. And the bridge takes him up here. We call this his tree house. As you can see, it has his name on it. I had a fun crafting this one. It was a pain, but it was fun to craft. It's a corner shell from Home Depot. And then I used dowel pins across and then, you know, the popsicle sticks. He's got his aspen up here and shredded hay to kind of give it a nice green addition. Then over here is his food dish, a little millet tree. Here is his awesome looking mushroom house from Joann's. He has his little mineral chew and a apple chew. I'm not sure if he's going to like it or not, but if he does, it stays. If he probably doesn't, I'll probably just take it out. Here is his little ramp made out of dowels that go up to his platform. And his platform stretches all the way across to the other side where you have his ovos down to his other platform. And his other platform is a Nuff magazine holder from Ikea, and it has dowel pins all around it. And up on top is his wheel and shredded hay and aspen. And then he has his set of stairs that go down into his sand. And he has an awesome big sand pit. I think he's going to love it because he loves to do everything in his sand. So I wanted to give him a nice big sand pit. So there that is, and he has this little green ceramic house, and then under here is a hay little hut or place. I don't know if he's going to like the hay under there or not. If he doesn't, I'll probably just put tissue, because I don't want aspen, because I'm afraid the aspen will just kind of get into the sand and stuff. So then here is his ramp, and go up here, and then here is his little porcupine whimsy, and a little millet tree again, and... Then you have some little sticks right here to chew on from PetSmart and then his reptile log and his blue saucer and here are some oat sprays along the back. Now this platform as you can see has dowels. It is glued to a platform on the bottom so it stays together and cannot fall over. Everything is got dowels and platform so if he, bun if he tunnels under it, it will not collapse on him so that's all safe. So there that is. Oh, and here is his water dish. It's the only thing I really don't like, but there is nowhere else for it to kind of fit in, so it's over here for now. So we'll see if it does okay over here. So there that is. I'm so excited for this. It was fun to create. It was stressful because it took a while and it was a lot of work, but it was fun. And I can't wait for him to get in here and try it all out. I hope you guys liked it. And I will put footage at the end of him exploring. So if you guys want to know how I made any of them, you know, the shelf or just how the whole cage came together, let me know and I will post a video 
of all the behind the scenes photos and work that you know I made to build it so there that is I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you next video bye